Hello and welcome from Parkway in Cumber where we're here tonight for the start of the NIWFA Championship season. Two teams tonight were respectively promoted last season. Cumber Rec, the home team, play East Belfast Ladies, so we're in for a very competitive, enjoyable game. Promise to be a close encounter, Tiana. What do you reckon? Who's going to win this one? I think we're going to share tonight. We'll go for a, a draw. draw. Yeah. Plan and save. All right. We'll see how it pans out. Let's go straight over to the action. Well, Tierna, I think it'd be fair to say that uh, that was a highly competitive start to the season we witnessed last night. Yeah, great first game for the season. Um, Cumber were the home team and deservedly got the three points, I think. Mm -hmm. They had hit the crossbar three times and saying that East had their chances as well. Yeah, especially at the end, I thought, to be honest, they maybe nicked a point. Absolutely, I thought the point was there for mm -hmm. them, but uh, she, I think she thought she'd scored before the ball hit the back of the net, yeah. which was unfortunate. 
yeah, one of those things. Just, um, I think it'd be fair to say that both those sides, however, will do pretty well in the, the championship this year. Absolutely, the two new teams promoted to the championship, mm-hmm. and if that's what the, was on display last night, I'm no doubt that the championship's going to be a very tight affair this year. So, yeah. um, really looking forward to see how it progresses. Yeah, we did have one sort of negative thing last night—a bit of a bad injury suffered, unfortunately. We did. Alana Livingston um, went down untackled. She just went to turn, and unfortunately, her knee seemed to get stuck. So, yeah. hopefully, she won't be out for too long. Yeah, hopefully not. And if you're watching tonight, Lana, on behalf of everybody at NIWFA Television, we wish you a speedy recovery and hopefully not too long before you're back in the pitch playing again. After the match last night, we caught up with two of the girls who had taken part in the game. First of all, we spoke to Cumber Rec ladies Erin Hannity, who once scored the winning goal. And then secondly, we caught up with Leanne Waters from East Belfast ladies. And here's what the girls had to say. I'm very excited to get the season started again and get kicked off. It's been a long pre-season. Always good to get a good um, three points under the belt straight from the bat. Um, good game. To, we, we battled hard and East brought it to us, but we managed to stay tight and hold on to our lead and finish 1-0. So always good to get points under the belt straight from the start. Um, well, Cumber the better side. They had the most. They created the most chances, um, so they deserve it. They deserve to win. So they did. Um, just unfortunate that we didn't ha- create our chances and put the, the ball in the back of the net. Um, but we'll go on to the next game and hopefully we'll get three points on the board. Welcome to your life. Help me make the most of freedom and of pleasure. Nothing ever lasts for. It's time now to have a brief look at the results elsewhere from the games played so far during week one of competition. As we have already saw from the championship, Cumberwreck ladies got off to a winning start, as did Lisbon ladies who secured a great victory over Lurgan ladies at the arena. South 1 saw victories for Belfast Celtic ladies and Balanch ladies, the latter of whom who will have been delighted with a 3-2 win over their local rivals, Down Patrick ladies. South 2 saw the success for the ladies of Banbridge Town and debutants Ballyman Cash, while in North 1 there was a thumping win for Crew United ladies, as well as victories for Coleraine ladies and Armagh City ladies. So tearing out that's week one complete. It is indeed, I'm sure the teams are delighted to get yeah. through pre-season and starting the league yeah. um, and they'll be excited for what has to come. We at NIWFA TV, we've got a, a busy schedule ahead. A very busy schedule. We do plan to cover a game each week yeah. um, and hopefully bring it live to NIWFA television. That's the hope, Anna. That's the hope. Let's hope we can keep up the pace. Hope so. <laughs> if you would like to get in touch with us here at NIWFA television, please feel free to come over and say hello at any of the games or indeed just drop us an email at the address now showing on your screen. And we'll make sure to give you a shout out on the show. So that brings us to the end of this episode of NIWFA Television. Thank you so much for supporting women's football in Northern Ireland by watching the show. Until next time, it's bye for now, but don't forget, girls Girls get get football. football!